So, why did we pick KDB Plus? Uh, our relationship with KX is maybe a yearish, a little bit more than a year now. Um, we have quite a lot of data and it moves very, very quickly. So in terms of pricing requests, 130,000 transactions a second is not unknown. Uh, we stream data. So one of our problems that uh, we recognize when big events like the Grand National happens is that most of the time, if you're running a bot or something against our gambling exchange, every time you poll for a new price, most of the data you're getting was the same as the old price that you asked for 100 milliseconds ago. So we built streaming APIs so that you could only get the price changes. You would subscribe to a pricing fee. We do about 130 megabytes per second compressed of streaming price data to our customer base. Uh, we take you know, peakish 7,000 bets per second. So you can see, if you want to do real-time analytics on that, you've got a challenge. Um, we went to the market, we looked at a bunch of different vendors. Um, some were quoting us 70 CPU cores just to ingest that feed of data. Um, we are ingesting that with less than one core in KX. So it became an absolute no-brainer. I mean, I'm going to give you a little bit of tech. We haven't had that much tech. So this is how we kind of did the plumbing for this thing. We generate insights in KX. I've left the exchange platform out for this. Most of our string and glue internally is via a system called Kafka. So we, we pump data in streams that we allow to connect two components together. So we managed to integrate KX with Kafka in a matter of a couple of hours. Uh, uses a standard library and KX happily supplied a, uh, a little shim that we can use to talk to Kafka. Uh, it was actually quite easy to be honest with you. So we generate facts into a Kafka topic. Then anything can consume from that Kafka topic. In this case, our drills engine, which we embedded in a thing called K-Streams, which allows you to have your little rule engine sitting there. It ingests messages from one side processes whatever rules it's going to process, uh, whichever rules fire, produce messages piping up the other side on a rules topic. It's our naming convention, you see. We then built a little system of engagement, our Waldo, to act upon the messages that were coming out of, uh, of our rule engine. And there's kind of two things we wanted to do with that. One of them is we wanted to be able to look up reference data. So our focus when we've been integrating KX is to integrate the fast-moving streams of data. So we don't necessarily want to store in KX the, the P&L, the profit and loss that customers had over the last year. The data warehouse is great for that kind of thing, but we want to be able to look up the data and we don't really want to run ETL inside the KX platform. So we don't want to do all these uh, extract, transform and load and those kind of data warehousey processes to load in reference data within our platform. So, Instead, the rule engine can ask for more facts. So I've got an insight that this user is probably naughty. We're not quite ready to act on it yet. We need to know more about the user. So we can ask the engagement engine to give me some more data, give me a reference fact to, to play with. Um, and then, of course, we have countermeasures that we can apply, things like account closure. Um, we also wanted a human in the loop. Um, and for this, we built one of the HTML5 KX dashboards. In fact, our resident KX guy, Dan, did so for us, um, which basically presents a little display and gives information about the account recommendation that we're going to make and allows one of our SMEs to act upon it. And we're, of course, keeping all of that data and squirreling it away in KX. So we've got a labeled training set that we can use to implement uh, some interesting ML algorithms later on.